Okay, today on the Redneck Workshop, what we're going to do is start to make the uh, rafter beams, I guess if you want to call them, but basically the, the roof rafters. Now, what, these are going to span about 12 feet, and what they're going to do, remember, is one end is going to go up to the garage and hold the garage up, and the other end is, uh, you know, going to be the carport room. Now, the way I'm going to do this is... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use some two by sixes, and I'm gonna splice two two by sixes together, and that'll give us the length that we need. That'll be uh, oh uh, six inches shorter than uh, than eight, and sixteen feet, so it'll be fifteen feet something. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Now the way we're gonna do it is uh, as you see, I've sawn one of these in half. Now this is gonna be the splice board. And what we're going to do is put uh, some construction adhesive on here and clamp that down to that one. And then we're going to take another one of these and put it on this end and clamp it down to this one. Now there's another thing that we've done that, uh, that, that we got to take note of. Let me show you this here. Now the roof rafters, take a look here, are going to, they have a slope to them as you can see. And you see up right there where they butt up against the garage? Well, that slope means that, you know, if you recall, we're going to, the top of the rafter is going to hold the garage up. So that's got to be flat relative to the garage. And also, uh, and when you push that beam in, that end has got to be vertical. So what we've got to do is cut the uh, roof rafters, that end of them, with a special little cut to make sure that that fits and here it is right here I've already measured that so what we've got to do is take a saw and cut that and that right there so that as you can see if this thing tilts well now it's straight reference to the tilt anyway that's uh, that's what we've got to do so we're gonna do that first right now and get that one cut straight and I've got a template that I've made let me show you right here and see this is the one we took it up there and we actually fit it and cut it. Now I don't know if you can see that very well but it's cut on the top and it's got a bevel on the bottom but on the side I mean. But anyway here goes this is what we're gonna do. Here we go. Okay, so there it is. So now as you can see, if you tip this down, now this, this is flat with a garage and so forth. So we've got to do all of the ends that butt up to the garage like that. Okay, this is, uh, this is going to be the same drill as before. We're going to drill uh, pilot holes in this splice and then we're going to put the construction adhesive in between. So we won't show all of that, but uh, here we go. Let's put the pilot on. And we got to get the nail, same as before. Screws them in. Now we're going to drill the pilot holes in this board instead of putting the other half on that side. And the reason is, is because uh, we're going to have to turn it over you know, or we won't be able, we won't be able to uh, put it on our little, uh, our little uh, jig here. So here we go. Let's put these in. Alright, now let's start by spreading the glue on this one. 
think there's just a little bit left in this tube, so... Apply the glue on this one. We're going to have to turn it over and go as far as we can without that dipping over. And then that's probably it right about there. Okay, now we'll glue this side. Wow, we had to turn it over there. the drill on building those so I'm going to build a bunch more of these but for now we only need two to get both ends up maybe three for the middle so we'll get three of these built and we'll start assembling this <laughs> okay there's one day's work I got the uh, I left the old uh, template beams up there, rafters. But you can see I've got three new rafters, one, two, and one in the middle. And I pulled this wall straight when I got that. But you see they're screwed just right to the top of that plate. And you see how that cut in there makes them fit just right? Okay, now the next step, I think, is to uh, get that beam up there. So we're going to have to work on that. However, before we do that, we can still make up the rest of the uh, roof rafters that we have from the wood that we have. <laughs> 